this is day one of me ingesting borax. I hopped on the borax train. I jumped on the borax train. I have officially jumped on the borax train. Borax. 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 Go check it out. Y'all need to get off this train. Don't eat out of the laundry box, people. I guess let's get into it. I actually did research. I went into the primary literature and I read papers that both talked about some potential benefits for having boron in your diet, but also way more literature talking about how boron and specifically borate compounds like sodium tetraborate, AKA borax, is actually really not good for you. According to the literature, it can cause kidney failure, it can cause reproductive harm. It also can cause developmental issues. The small amount of research that does exist that seems to maybe say that it has some beneficial effects, even that suggests eating it in your diet because there are a lot of plants that are rich in boron and borates that aren't borax. Now that's the first point. The second point, don't eat products that aren't made for people to eat them. If something is made in a facility that doesn't make things for human consumption, there are certain controls that aren't in place. There are ingredients that can be used. There are processes that can be used that would not be used if this were a product intended for people to eat it. What this ultimately means is that not only is that final product maybe contaminated with all sorts of other things, but they also don't have to say that in the list of ingredients because it's not really meant for human consumption. This is patently dangerous because depending upon where it's extracted from, how they clean it up, how they package it and ship it and what they ship it with, you have no clue what other things might have just gotten mixed up in that box of borax. It's not for you to eat. It's not for anybody to eat. Not your kids, not your dog, not your grandma, nobody. I already know. Somebody's gonna come along with this apocryphal notion that, oh, it's just sodium, boron, and oxygen. It's all natural. Sodium cyanide is just sodium, carbon, and nitrogen. We breathe tons of nitrogen all the time. It's like 70% of the air, so that's totally safe. Formaldehyde is just carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. It's fine, it's totally natural. Our bodies are full of that stuff. I don't want this to come across as overly harsh because I do understand the underlying motivation behind this sort of thing. Everybody wants to be healthy. Everybody wants to make sure they're getting the right nutrients and minerals. And so people, some of us live in food deserts and some of us don't have adequate access to medical care. And that isn't our faults. But this is literally the opposite of that. You are actively poisoning yourselves. If a product isn't made for people to consume it, don't consume it. <laughs> don't. Don't do it, especially if it says not to do it on the box. <sighs> this is Kim Thug.